water in here. We have him distracted with some food and we're trimming his hooves. His hooves were in really bad shape when I got them. We trimmed them about three or four months ago. A friend of mine, Rose, trimmed them. And so she got off the worst of them. They were actually clicking when I got them. So we're getting there. I almost am done with this one. But I'll show you where we're at with him. You might think that looks pretty bad, but it's much better than what it was. And since I am not really super good at this, this is my first time, and I am not getting it all correctly, but I think this is actually overgrown right there. He doesn't like me messing with it. And we're trying to get some of it off anyhow. His hooves are just not in good shape. I'm not really versed, but as I look at things, um, you know, I've tried to clean some of this stuff out. I, don't, I think you might have some hoof rot going on as you look at that. So I'm just nervous about going too far down. I figure we do a little bit at a time and then keep doing some more. And I know we're supposed to get the line. Here's the line for the hoof. And it's supposed to be similar. So right now I'm trying to get these two to match up. That would be great. So we'll give you a little bit more set up here. Get the set up here to uh, work on Hazel's hooves. So I don't know how she's going to be. Sometimes she's cooperative. Sometimes she's not. Great girl. Let's see how your hooves are. Yeah, she's not going to be happy. They were not, they were not good before. She's not going to be happy. Okay, so things didn't go so well with Hazel. We actually had to lay her down. She's not happy, but we are getting, you can look here, bring it up close to here. Her hoof is in pretty sh rough shape. You gotta keep calming her down. This is just one of them, but we are getting them. It's all hollow in there. Okay. She feels the pressure and doesn't like it. But you can see it's hollow, so the part I'm cutting there's no quick there. And this one is down there. I still got some stuff on the edge, but I definitely don't want to go too deep. I'm just going to stop right there. Got some stuff here in the back that's flipped up. Doesn't help that it's kind of a wet season right now. So the hose are really damp. And I'm not experienced enough to know how deep I should go. But they will be better than they were. And I can tell you, it is much easier to trim the big goat's hooves than Hazel's. We really thought Hazel would be the easier one. Look what her hooves look like. And so they were, they're better than they were when I got them. Got it, these goats. And they will continue to get better as we keep working on them so we've learned and even I've seen online you're supposed to just when they're really bad just go at them slowly and don't try and take it all off at once so we probably could have definitely been working on them sooner but time flies I didn't realize it'd been so long all right we'll keep working on them thanks okay we're back at it we actually got her up standing and I'm kind of cleaning out the inside here. Again, it goes down quite a bit, so she's got a lot that's grown. And, or a good amount, anyhow. She was trying to reach around and nibble at me. Well, that went well. <sighs> Hazel, what are we going to do with you? You're young and inexperienced, aren't you? Yes. This is not a normal thing for you. Obviously, Scotch has had it done before. His belly speaks to him louder than yours does. <laughs> yes, baby goat. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, I need to. You need to come back over here. Come on. Come on over here. Come on over here. No, you gotta go this way. Okay, go right go. there. Go. I'll give you this, but we're not hopping over things. More forceful, like the, uh, the horse hoof trimmer. I've watched him do a few things. So, 
this goat is going to get the same treatment. He's getting a knee and a foot. Okay, we're back at it here. Like wrestling kids, wrestling this crazy goat. Don't you bite me, you be a good girl. Nope, you're not going anywhere. Again, the key is to not go too far. I had that stressed over and over as I watched videos. Let's see. So I think maybe in a month or so we'll try this again. Let's see how she does. Let's see how much there is there. Definitely not good. Definitely do. This said you can trim them every three to four months. I guess I should have been back on it since it was so bad before. Nope, sorry, goat. Sorry, Hazel. Nope. Hazel's not in charge. to this obviously you haven't had a lot of experience with this have you? Have you had a lot of experience with this? No, are you a sweet goat? Yes. Yeah. Baby goat. Alright, let's get her switched around. or so and just see where they're at. Maybe I can actually take a little more off. Try and get them down to where they're supposed to be. And she'll be healthy. I'm gonna try to avoid hoof rot and I think she's got some going on right now. But I need a professional. better than when they came, you know, right? Yep. We'll get them. Alright Hazel, 
ready to go be in a live nativity tonight. Mm -hmm. You're gonna meet lots of people. You had a rough day. Yeah, you're not used to riding around. Not used to riding around in a trailer. Getting your hooves trimmed. Being apart from your big old scotchy. You don't like that, do you? A little bit of a separation anxiety. And crazy humans. Yeah, these crazy humans. Mm -hmm. You want your boy to take you now? Yeah, I want Caleb. Here, let me see. Are you ready to take your girl? Your baby girl goat? Yeah, you go with your boy. Mm hmm. Hey, thanks for watching Ferguson Hobby Farms. Remember, click like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section. Bye.